13 and we are starting a brand new let's play this is manos the hands of fate arguably one of the worst movies of all time has become one of the best games of all time this game has been popular has been popularized by the mystery science theater 3000 crew and i love mystery science theater and i saw that they were making a game so i said i've got to play it so let's start. In this game, we play as Mike, the husband of the, who is taking his family on a vacation. And they are heading to the Valley Lodge. There's the daughter, and the doggy, and his wifey. And in this game, there's only two buttons. I don't know what they are. They, they're, well, actually, Z and X. Z shoots things with Mike's gun. And X jumps. You collect these points, I don't know what the hell they do. But if you shoot those hands, they will turn into things. So yeah, I saw this game on the internet after I was researching Mystery Science Theater a little bit and I saw that Manos had a game and I said I gotta play it. Alright, now we got ourselves a shotgun, but if we get hit, we lose. And the top left corner is, uh, ah, oh, damn it, I lost my shotgun. And, and if you remember from the, if you ever saw the movie, there's these two kids that are just making out at this one part, and it's just awful. So, this game, like I said, is based on the, one of the worst movies of all time, and it's so terrible that it is so loved by so many people. Because, because it's one of those movies that's so bad, it's great. Because, uh, I'm gonna come up here. Get this. And look, we picked up a hand of fate found. And our max health is increased. And yeah, I will put the link of the video description. This is a game by, uh, like, I don't know what the hell the name of it is. But they made it, and I want to give them some shout out. This is a really fun game. It's kind of like Mega Man. You got a gun. And look who it is, it's Torgo! Listen to that. I, I am Torgo. I take care of the place while the master is away. You cannot stay here. The master would not approve. I love Torgo. And now we gotta fight our first boss of the first level, Torgo! And yes, we just shoot him in the face. Yeah, normally I don't get... Very well. The master will be very disturbed. Listen to that classic Torgo theme. If you've never seen this movie, like, regularly, or if you have never seen the Mystery Science Theater mock, mock of this, I, I highly advise you to check it out. And yeah, there is a time down there. There is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. Now we're in this second area, the inside of the house. Yeah. So, this, yeah, if you like Mystery Science Theater and you haven't seen this episode, I don't know if you're a real fan of Mystery Science Theater. And these things on the ground can't be killed, so you just gotta jump over them. But, uh, yeah. This game... I, I didn't beat it yet, so it's gonna be hard to find when I get to the point that I never beat. But it's a fun ass game. We have skulls here. This is like Castlevania right now. I love it. Yeah, so Mike is uh, taking his uh, his family on a vacation. We end up at the Valley Lodge where Torgo and his and his uh, and, uh, his, his cronies are there. Doing a really good job. And yeah, I don't care about the time. I just want to be careful. It's all about timing and patience, as Newbie Manga used to say. Timing and patience. But yeah, this game, but the movie is so bad. Real bad. I love this. When I saw you know, there's a skull. Oh. oh shit! I lost my shot. So 
yeah, this game is sort of like Mario and Mega Man put together. It's a great game. I can't say enough. Right, let's go this way. Can I get up on here? What? There we go. So let me give you a little bit of background about Man on the Space. Basically, it was made by a man who was played by Mike in this movie, in this game, or in the movie, and he made a movie. He was a manure salesman, and he, very like Ed Wood, wanted to make films. Another one up, and, uh, oh, that was close. And, um, you know, he wanted to make films. So, uh, he got a cast of fellows. We made it to stage three. This is where actually I have. This is as far as I've ever made it in the game. It's probably because of these damn chain things. They suck. There's a hand. But anyway, so back to uh, how the movie was made. Arguably one of the worst movies of all time. Made by a manure salesman who was selling manure because he thought he could do a better movie or something. And yeah, there's zombies, guys. You gotta hit them. And these eyeballs, they're homing. So he thought he could make a better movie than, I don't know, somebody, oh, died. Anyways, he thought he could make a better movie, he decided to make this movie about, I don't know, this weird ass cult that was at this town, or something. So these, um, guy, guy named Torgo, he's supposed to be like a satyr, you know, like, if you ever saw Mr. Cumnus in, um, oh man, if you ever saw Mr. Cumnus in, uh, Mr. Tumnus and uh, <clears throat> Narnia. That's what a satyr's supposed to be like. And uh, yeah, he does not pull it off. What ends up happening is he has, instead of. Uh, oh, crud, the zombies can climb stairs? What kind of HS is that? Instead of pulling off like a, a look that he's got. Um, look at that. Uh, yeah, if I don't talk, it's because I'm trying to concentrate, and I apologize for that. Oh yeah, we got another hand of feet. But, um, yeah, so, Tumnus. Yay, I did it! And I shoot you. Alright. Oof, I'll take a hit. I'll take a hit so good. So, instead of uh, pulling off the look that he actually um, looks like a, a satyr guy, he actually ends up having giant knees. As most, you know, most villains, they're supposed to have, uh, you know, one key characteristic about them that stands out the most, and apparently Torgo's is giant knees. And uh, so what ends up happening is they get drawn into, they get drawn into this cult thing. And, uh family gets drawn in this cult thing, and we meet the master and all that, and he's not a nice fella. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. I always gotta get that extra point, huh? Run! Almost at the next boss. Run! Yeah, but the 
That's alright, because I have more energy this time. And whenever I get to this point, I have I don't have as much energy as I usually do. Now we gotta fight a thing that's totally not in Manos. None of this level was in Manos. Ah, shit. So yeah, this guy's got a weird-ass pattern. Shoot it! Die! Yay! We did it! This is the fourth level. I've never been to this level. What a ho No, I have. What a horrible night to have a curse! Oh, this side scrolling shit. Yes! And now we have to fight butterflies. So, this part follows the movie a little bit because Mike actually goes outside after something. I don't remember what the hell happened to him. It's a terrible movie, but but I wouldn't, it, cause all right. So there's two movies that are arguably the worst movies of all time. Uh, one of them is being Ed Wood's Plan Nine from Outer Space. As uh, some of you might or might not have seen it, um, it's a pretty awful movie. But this one, I think, uh, this one, I think, if you didn't have the help of the robots making fun of it, as I like to call the Mystery Science Theater, I use I sometimes I call it the robots. Anyways, if you didn't have the help of the robots watching it, I don't think you could watch it. Like, some of the movies that they mock, or, or like, commentate over, are, are, um, pretty good. Or not pretty good, but they stink, but they're like, you can watch them. And make fun of yourself, and, uh, I don't know, I just think that this movie would be really bad. Butterfly. Yeah, but now they're bringing the side scrolling crap. This is horse, horse poopy. Oh, I jumped. Oh, man. Yeah, this is why I had a lot of trouble. And, uh, this is the stage where I had a ton of trouble. So. Oh, damn it. Oh, God. Thank God they do. If you do die, you start you start at the uh, at the stage. At the beginning of the stage. Here you come. Like if you used all your all your lives. That's right, buggy. And there's no save state, so this is actually like a game I actually purchased it. I tried looking for free, but I'm alright with paying for it. You're not making that YouTube money. Oh, damn it. I could I could totally pay for this game. And it was worth, and it's worth it so far. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. This just is, this, is, this part is just a pain in the butt. So yeah, I guess this. Oh god damn it! I guess there's this game company that makes retro games out of. Uh, oh, thank you. I stink. Yeah, so I guess there's this game company that makes retro games out of, like, weird-ass things. And this is one. And, yeah, like I said, this is a fun game. I'm not sure if anyone else has Let's Played it yet. I don't really care if I'm the first person who Let's Played the game. In fact, uh, I was thinking about that one day. I, I don't really care. I mean, I want to play the game because it's fun or because it has some sort of significance to me. Oh, man. I hate you, side scroller. And yeah, this this, uh, this game, the game doesn't have any significance to me, but the movie and you know just being a huge Mystery Science Theater 2000 fan, I friggin' love this. I just love that they made a game out of this, out of this, uh, out of this, uh, <clears throat> out of this god awful movie. Anyways, oh, I do have one more life. I was gonna say, I'll, I'll end it. I'll, I'll end it here. I don't even know how many levels there are in this game. I'm assuming there, there's probably at least two more levels, like this one, and 
and another one, and what, another thing I'm assuming is that, um, is that there's actually, uh, Anyways, I'm going to end the episode here, and then the next episode we will uh, continue with Manos, the Hands of Fate. Bye-bye.